if you count to three, you might realize that you will never count to five. <laughs> That's the amount of intelligence most people go into a relationship. <laughs> and uh, the low, it's not about low IQ, it's about low self-awareness. <laughs> The golden prison is to think that if you find the right partner, all your sol problems will be solved. People fixate on this one thing. If it's money, success, getting fit, relationships. And they think that all these things, if you just focus on it, it will solve all the problems you have, right? And that's, of course, that's not true. Of course, when you focus on a relationship, it doesn't mean your finances are well or are good. There's always... Uh, different things that you need to focus on so also one thing is we have this image of well I want to be in a relationship with someone that is out of my league and then you be in a relationship with them and then you constantly feel like you're in this golden prison because what will happen if they find out that you are actually getting the good deal right in this relationship and so many relationships go they try to stay in this golden prison because they think they got the prize they got the thing they have been looking for the person out of their league but the better deal the good deal that's not how it works also i'm doing coaching calls applying the link of the description to enter and fill in some information i would love to see you there don't forget down in the link of the description there's a link to calendly you can fill in some information and I would love to see you on the call. The golden prison. You want to be with yourself, with your partner. Most people, they're not being themselves with their partners. They're trying to hide some part of themselves. Can you allow your partner to see you at your worst? To see you at the most embarrassing, most worst place? are you being authentic with them and you should be so comfortable with your partner that you show them even more than what you show your friends and you can't fake relationships i mean even if you win you still lose you still don't get the good deal because it needs to be on both sides you need to be authentic on both sides you need to be yourself and they need to be themselves Find people that love you for you. If on one side of the partnership uh, you feel like you're on the winning end, right? You got the good you. It's not a win-win. It's a win-lose. But even if the, on the other person, on the other side, they feel they got the good you or something, it's also not a match, right? Because it should be two complete people coming together and that is what is called love not one person trying to leech of the other person if you get along with everyone that's called manipulation right you're not a manipulator you should be having a click with someone you should have that natural chemistry with someone and not be in this fake kind of relationship where there's no chemistry there is no uh real connection there's no authenticity in those relationships if they break up with you because you're being authentic then that relationship is not worth being in you know it might hurt but at the end that's a win at the end it's a win if your partner breaks up with you because you're being authentic because you wouldn't want to be with someone where you cannot be authentic with anyways and that's what you have to see Nothing is worth sacrificing your authenticity for. Nothing is worth sacrificing your authenticity for. And even if you think you cannot be loved by someone because you're too weird or whatnot, there's someone out there that loves you for you. That loves you for you. And you're missing out on that by staying in a relationship where they don't love you for you. They love who you pretend to be because you're manipulating. Be comfortable on your own. You can still have an intention to be in a relationship with someone, but you got to understand that you got to be complete on your own. Not this little half and trying to find this other little half 
and then you're complete together. Now you've got to be complete by your own. And then you've got to also ask the question, what if I'm alone? Like, what if I'm alone forever? What will happen? And all those things that come up, you got to let go of that. Like all those fears, all those like, oh, but oh, this and that, let all of that go. It's all about letting all of that go, being complete on your own. And then whether you're in a relationship or not, it doesn't matter. At least you're complete on your own. And then when you go into a relationship, it will be so much better, it will be so much healthier. It will be so much more natural. Be honest from the start. You want to know as fast as possible if you two connect with each other, right? If there's chemistry with each other. And if you go and you talk to someone and you don't feel any chemistry with that person, why, why do you still stay with that? Why do you still keep talking to that person? Even if you feel like, oh, they're, they're out of my league, they're like, I got the better deal, let go. Like, it's not for you if it's not if there's no chemistry it's not for you and also when you don't do it from the start you go into a relationship with someone that you probably should not be with and then you talk with them and be like you know this is my real self it's my authentic self and be like yeah like why do you wait to to find out if they like you for you or not why do you just not put yourself out there more authentically so that you know where to go for you want to find out as fast as possible instead of being in a marriage instead of being in a long-term relationship with someone that you don't want to be in be with <laughs> don't compromise your authenticity this is about not compromising on your own authenticity you know how much do you compromise for other people how much are you trying to please other people how much you're trying to do for others instead of first filling your own cup first taking care of you and then see where things go from there you got to first give yourself that that i wouldn't say just love but just just that that love and authenticity and joy and happiness and completeness before you try to find it externally in fact you should actually never try to find it externally because it's always found within you but you should still be able to you know get in a true relationship get friends get do fun things but come from this place of abundance of completeness and prioritize that more than i want to be in this relationship and therefore i got to manipulate this person to stay with me because even though you'd be like but i'm not consciously manipulating i'm just i don't know what happened you're still doing it you still you're still, even if you're not aware of it, you're still doing it. You're still trying to make people be in your life that probably should not be in your life. Let go. Not everyone is for you, and that is completely fine. You, you, some, with some people, you just don't click, and it is fine. You shouldn't worry about being okay with everyone, everyone liking you, everyone wanting to be with you and you wanting to be with everyone you don't want to be with everyone and everyone doesn't want to be with you that's just how life is just accept it just let go and enjoy for the people who enjoy being authentic and finding people that you can be authentic with it's the best feeling it's the best feeling out there so this is not the perfect video this is all about authenticity anyways i'm a bit tired right now because i've got a lot of work that i did today and it's the end of the day, so it's not the best video out there. But guess what? Just show up. Just be authentic. Don't try to pretend I'm Mr. Perfect or anything. I'm not. If you want to learn more about these things, you know, as I said in the beginning, go click on the link in the description. It goes to the Calendly page. You can fill in some information. And I would love to see you there on the coaching call. I would love to see you and talk to you and see if I can help you. With what you're struggling with also don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and i hope to see you in the next video